This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported all the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Complete After Effects template is also available on my web store. Check out the link in the description. Now let's create this logo reveal. Create a new composition. I will name it as logo reveal. Set time duration for this composition to 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer, this will be our background layer. Now in effects and preset, search for ramp. Add it to the background layer. Now set ramp color as shown. Set shape to, radial ramp. Now adjust the position. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo, select move all attribute into new composition. Now go to layer, select auto trace, this will create mask for our logo. Now press U to view keyframes, here I will remove this keyframes, perfect. You can see the mask for your logo. Now go to effects, from video copilot, select Saber, if you can't see this Saber effect, you need to install Saber plugin, download link is provided in the description. Now for Saber, in customize core, set core type to, layer mask. Now set core size to 2. Set glow intensity to 45%. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for start offset. Set it to 100%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, set offset to 75%. Now at 3 seconds, set offset to 100%. You can see the preview. Now set end size to 0. Now at start, create keyframe for mask evolution. Now at 3 seconds, set mask evolution to minus 1 rotation. You can see the preview. Now press U to view keyframes. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in distortion, glow distortion, set distortion amount to 18, core distortion, amount to 40, set motion blur to 1, you can see the preview, here if you want you can adjust the distortion amount, perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Change mode to add. Press T to bring up opacity, while pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of opacity, enter expression, wiggle. 30, 100. Now 
Now again create duplicate of logo composition. Here you can set color of your choice. Now press U to view keyframes. Here we will change start keyframe value. For start offset set it to 0. For end keyframe set it to 0. Now in customize core set end offset to 0. You can see the preview. Now we will place this logo composition at near about 1 second and 10 frames. You can see the preview. Now again create duplicate of below logo composition. Place it above. Now select all logo composition. Pre-compose it. Name it as Sab logo. Perfect, now for Sab logo, change mode to add. Now let's create duplicate of Sab logo. For this Sab logo set opacity to 30%. Now in effects and preset. Search for fast box blur. Add it to the Sab logo composition. For blur. Set dimension to, vertical. Set iteration to, 1. Here we will set blur radius to near about 500. Select repeat edge pixels. You can see the preview. Now let's add particle 1 media file to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the particles. Set map white color to blue. You can set it according to your Saba color. Now set mode to add. Now again add the second particle media file. Change mode to add. Add tint effect to particle media file. Set map white color to red. Now here we will stretch the media layer, here you can enable the stretch panel. Now for particles, set stretch value to, 150%. Perfect. Now let's add logo composition to the line. Now in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to the logo composition. For Vegas, in image contour, set threshold to, 1. Set channel to alpha. Now set segments to, 1. Here we will set the outline color. Set length to, 0 0.30. Now at start, create keyframe for rotation. Set rotation to, 50 degrees, now at 4 seconds. Set rotation to, 180 degrees. Now set width to, 1. Set hardness to, 0 0.50. Set start opacity to, 0. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for end opacity. Now at 1 second, set opacity to, 1. Now for logo, press T to bring up opacity. At 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. At start, set opacity to, 0. Now we will place this logo composition at near about 3 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown.
perfect. Now let's add the frame, create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure color is set to black. Now double click on the rectangle tool to create mask, for mask path. Set unit to percent of source, set top to, 10%. Set bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our Sabalite logo is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.